no organism lives on its own. Every, no organism is an island. Every organism is an ecosystem in its own rights. Here's another example. This is one of the most gorgeous beetles that lives on Earth, which is called the harlequin beetle. Uh, I photographed it, I think, in, in Costa Rica or Guyana. And uh, um, these beetles, um, these are big beetles, they're gorgeous. But when I found one, I was excited, not so much because of the beetle, but because what I knew I would find on its body. Um, because when I started looking really closely, I very quickly found these organisms. These are pseudoscorpions. A pseudoscorpion, uh, it's a tiny little arachnid that sort of looks like a scorpion, but uh, notice it doesn't have this long tail. Instead, they have, they also, they're also venomous, but they have venom in their little pincers. Of course, they are harmless to us because of, of their size. But they live exclusively on this beetle. Now, what do they feed on? Well, on f they feed on other things that live on the beetle. When I started looking even closer, I realized that the body of this beetle was also covered with mites that this pseudoscorpion feeds on. So what does it tell us? It tells us that all organisms are connected. And the loss of even a single species starts this cascading reaction that leads to loss of others. And that beetle, by the way, uh, uh, lives on a particular species of a fig tree, and that fig tree also needs it, and other things need that beetle. 